When I was informed in 1988 that Dean Stockwell would be one of the stars of a new TV series I had been asked to design the costumes for, I was overwhelmed. The actor, who died this week at age 85, had always been one of my favorites. I was also hesitant to meet him, I had been disappointed before by prominent film stars who turned out to be impossible to please divas. I had learned not to walk into any room expressing great admiration for anyone because usually they were as plastic as the celluloid their pictures were shown on. After reading the intriguing script for this new series, Quantum Leap, about a time traveler and his holographic assistant, I wondered how futuristic they would want me to make Dean's hedonistic character, producer Don Belisario, who I had worked with before on Battlestar Galactica, gave me great leeway make his attire whatever I thought future fashion might evolve into, he said, then add a bit of sartorial flash. Yes, I thought, it would create a full-on impression that would be the key to Dean's raunchy, holographic owl. To get away from the formality of my stuffy studio office, I suggested meeting Dean on Melrose Avenue, where we could glance through several of the many trendy men's boutiques, then discuss his look over coffee. I would also try to persuade him into a casual, informal fitting, giving me an opportunity to find out what cuts and colors he was into and what wardrobe issues I might have to deal with if it came down to buying off the rack. Plus, such a joint would be more entertaining than confronting him with a list of questions in my cubicle. Punctually at 10.30, when the majority of the shops opened, Dean drove up in a dark sedate car, parked on the street and joined me. Wearing a snap brim straw hat, dark glasses, and an unconstructed jacket, a beige, unpressed dress shirt, jeans, and nondescript Oxford shoes, Dean was obviously not into fashion, not in the least. After a handshake and several nods in greeting with witty quips, we went into a store, where I held back while he perused the dismal merchandise, gray, beige, stone, charcoal and black. 